right, how'd you guys get this name, Oblio? Oh, long story, long story. Take about an hour, is that okay? okay. No, we're just going to take around a minute, so cut it short. All right. There's a playwright slash musician called Harry Nilsson. He wrote a play called One, or he wrote a song called One is the Loneliest Number. Yeah. Uh, that is guy. it that will ever be? And that, yes. <laughs> yes. That, that one. Wow. And, uh, and he wrote a play, a musical, in maybe 67 or something like that. Okay. Lead, lead, lead a character to that play. So gotcha. long ago. Yeah. So that, then that's Oblio. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, interesting. It's more interesting <laughs> if you look it up on Wikipedia. How long have you guys been a band? Uh, six years, I think. Six, six years? Six or seven years. What are some crazy things that have happened to you guys? Oh, boy. We moved from the East Coast to the West Coast. Why? Yeah. Put out an e uh, He used to live on the East Coast, and I would fly out and do music with him. Why? In Boston. Uh, well, no, because he was kind of good. I was, <laughs> I was better than him. He looked up to me. Yes, that. I can see that. And in those, you know, five or six years and everything like that, you guys had some good times and some bad times, right? Yeah. One can of the bad times was we, we, this guy joined the band. That was a terrible mistake. Oh. But don't tell him. For, he may for be, in, for he may be somewhere around here. Wait, for what? For all three of us. Oh, okay. Yeah. And in a serious thing, what have been some serious hardships that you guys had, had to overcome here? Besides him joining besides, the band? Besides, besides Red Shirt getting <laughs> in the band. Uh, it took forever to put out our debut album. And why is that? Like, why does it take a band for freaking ever to put out their first album? Uh, we, we designed, mixed, record, uh, recorded, mixed, mastered it. Uh, we, we, we did, did all, all the of the art. We, did all, we filmed all the music videos on his iPhone. Yeah. Um, in our garage. 100% DIY. <laughs> okay. So who produced it? We did. We did. Who recorded it? We uh, did. We did. What record label did you guys put it out on? Our uh, own. Uh, yeah. And what's the name of the record label? Anomic. Uh, yeah, I guess Ooh. so. What made you guys do the whole DIY thing? Bro. No choice. <laughs> no choice. Bro. Broke. Money, right? <laughs> We're broke. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you guys had all the money in the world, who would have produced your record? Maybe Steve Albini. Steve Albini. I don't know. He might have oh, done too. Animus. Might have been too raw. Okay. But but we love Steve Albini's production. Yeah. Okay. He's and he's a person. In uh, in your opinion, what would you like more out of the fans um, that see you, and what do you think the fans want more out of you? The fans want more gigs from us. We don't play a lot of gigs, especially recently. Since yeah. our album came out, we've played a shamefully small amount of shows. Okay. Yeah. Didn't do an album release show. Didn't do any of that shit. So we need to do more gigs. And what would you like more out of your fans? Showing up at the gigs. <laughs> Spre spread <laughs> and spreading the that word. Would be nice. <laughs> spreading the word, I mean, kind of goes for every band. But uh, And do you feel like that's like a lot of social media marketing kind of stuff? Do you feel like that just old school spreading the word? What do you feel like the, the big insight is for that? What, how does a, bri a band break through? Actual word of mouth still works the best. Really? But social yeah. media is, is pretty key, too. Do I, you find it like that's the biggest asset is social media? It's, it has to work in tandem. Okay. It has to work with word of mouth. If you have a lot of people who really love your music, they will promote you better than you will promote yourself. I got gotcha. you. So. And uh, you guys are playing two songs tonight, right? Yes. What two yeah. songs are we playing? We Come are, on, Talkie. <laughs> we are playing Days and Wisdom. In Days that order. and Wisdom. And is anybody have a favorite song out of those two songs right here? Wisdom. Wisdom? What about you, Green Shirt? Wisdom. I'm going to say Days only because it was kind of a, a feat, I think, when we finished you, it. You were not the just record. saying that because you're the only Contrarians? I, I genuinely, I love Days. Okay. Contrarians are the I'm worst. Excited. Contrarians. Are the worst. Yeah. Contrarians. That's a good band name. Um, okay. Well, guys, glad to have you up here. Glad to bless my ears with such sweet music that I'm yet to hear. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks in advance. Right, you know, so you better, uh, better live up to this thing. Yeah, then, you know? well, we'll see about that. Okay, everybody give it up for Oblio. You've heard me explain how I know How you knew that I know all the truth It shows When I bleed through my clothes The fool shouts at the wise man His conscience gets attacked again by the
One more time for Oblio. Yeah. So I might have some questions for you guys. Just a couple things here. I saw that, uh, don't look at me with those eyes. I saw that you guys, <laughs> I saw that you guys switched instruments there. We, we, yeah, good eyes. Yeah, right? I'm True. freaking awfully observant, right? What created that whole thing for you guys? Is that something that you just thought would well, look cooler? Or is that something that you're like, hey, no, this is something that we're all about, switching instruments and going through the circle. Well, we're all about magic tricks, so we just wanted to like incorporate a magic trick. Most people don't even catch it, it's like sleight of hand. No, oh, I get it. It's like magic. Yeah, exactly like magic. <laughs> like a magic trick. Like exactly like a magic like trick. Like a magic trick? Like a magic trick. Like a trick that's magic? Like a trick that is magic. Holy Stop shit. trying to kiss me. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> okay. I grew up so, playing many different instruments, so I like them all. And does everybody in this band play everything? Is there, like, everybody plays guitar, bass, and drums, right? Yeah. And Correct. does everybody sing? Correct. Yes. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Interesting. What is the favorite song that you guys played tonight? Wisdom. We already asked Wisdom. that. Right? So. I was just seeing if it's changed after You're the set, out of man. It, man. No, I'm just seeing if it changed after the songs that you guys played tonight. 
Wisdom. Wisdom Always. still. Oh, okay, and Same. he'll still have that thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, guys, I know that you guys have done the record. I know it takes forever and everything like that. What is your songwriting process? What is the way that you guys, in particular, go through this? I write. For well, the songs you heard, I write a good portion of the music. Blake writes a good portion of the lyrics, and then we kind of give them to each other and uh, edit uh, each other. Okay, so you guys are like the checks and balances system. I, I think that's pretty accurate, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, being on the road and doing all... You guys have toured a bunch and all that kind of stuff, right? Well, not toured a bunch. A little. We've toured more than a lot of local bands. What's the worst not, city not you guys gone to? What? Worst Oakland. City. Oakland? There's not ever, ever... Ever a good story that comes out of Oakland. Don't, okay, if you're a touring band, don't go to Oakland. First rule of Oak, Oakland is never go to Oakland. Well, yeah. and the, the guy, one of the guys we were working with left us a lovely note on our map that said, get out of Oakland as fast as possible. And we laughed it off and we're like, yeah, right. Nothing bad will happen in Oakland. We were wrong. And then our van was broken into. Yeah. Yep. We should have listened to that guy. Should have listened to that guy, huh? Yeah. So Although, we're that guy now. You listen to us. Uh, right. Don't go to Oakland. Although, Don't go to Oakland. If you're a band, it should be known that you will get broken into at some point. Yeah. So. It's like a thing. They have a running thing right now. Bands bands get robbed in Oakland. Right. It sort of tests you guys, right, as yeah. human beings. How long was the car left unattended? Uh, like three minutes. Like not, three minutes. Not joking. It was yeah, like three and, minutes. It takes three minutes for these guys to break in. Anything yep. big taken or anything like that? Clothes, all of, all of luckily, my clothes. <laughs> and his camera, and my camera. But no laptops, no gear. We thank were butt God. naked for the rest of the tour. Yeah, <laughs> that was interesting. It was fun for me. And do you guys ever forget like song lyrics when you're performing? Because there's three of you, yeah. right, that are doing all this stuff today. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, oh, what yeah. lyrics did you uh, forget? Today I forgot everything except the lyrics. So okay. that was nice. <laughs> And that first song I really liked. Um, there's like a line in it, uh, like, sleep with my eyes open. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the song's really cool. What's the name of that one again? Days. 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 Hey, uh, I, I'm, I'm new to this stuff, man. I'm just, I'm just right. falling in the realm here. Um, let's go over what you guys have, because I see two different pedal boards. Mm. Let's go over what you guys have and use, because I noticed there's no bass player here, right? Correct. Yeah. All right, which means that you have to do something creative. Yeah. So what well, did you do? I'm going through a POG, which tunes the guitar down an octave, okay. which is a trick we've used a lot for small shows. Um, often we've played with bass, where one of us will just play bass. Uh -huh. But recently, shows have been much more spontaneous, so we've kind of just been like, we'll do it all on guitar and see what happens. Okay, so, so you have a split channel then, yes. right? It's one's going to a guitar amp, one to a bass amp, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's what took a second, right. setting up. Okay. Right. And what else do you got going on over here? Um, what do you Pretty use? much your run-of-the-mill overdrive distortion and fuzz, and then a delay pedal and a, a freeze pedal. Um, freeze is a sustain pedal. It holds a chord. You, like, you tap it, and it holds the chord. Okay. That's pretty cool, especially when we need to tune. You know, you saw. I, I tuned saw. a long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have a vocal pedal, which we didn't use. Um, that's just for vocal effects and uh, mild auto-tune. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, and if you were trapped on a deserted island, what two pedals would you take? The hot cake right here and the tuner pedal because we're all about... Tuning? Being in tune. Okay. We didn't use the auto-tune for this show, though. Isn't that Yeah, weird? we didn't, just so everyone knows, no auto-tune yeah. in this show. Come on, Whoa. We just do that when we're playing, like, shitty bars that don't give you good monitors. Or when they open up for Kanye. That's also Thank true. Thank we you. have opened up for <laughs> Kanye West multiple times. All right, and what do you have going on over here? I see uh, some okay. LCD weird screen here. Yeah, that's just a controller. It's a brain for everything. Uh, so I can sing and not have to worry about pushing a bunch of buttons. Gotcha. Um, but overdrive, compression, uh, delay, and reverb, and then an auto-tune pedal. And actually, the most important pedal is a tuner. Desert Island, overdrive and tuner. Yeah, overdrive and tuner? Okay, yeah. and what would be your dream? And, oh, actually... What kind of guitars you guys got over here? I have a Fender Jazzmaster. With a NASA sticker on it. My brother actually works at JPL, so it's actually fitting. He works hey, for NASA. that's awesome. I'm a big fan of space. 
What do you got going this on? This is Leo Fender's first guitar he ever made in, in 1952, I believe. Actually, it was 49. Oh, 40, 49. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. This is the first guitar Bullshit. he ever made. I bought it at a garage sale, and I put a shitty sticker on it and a pin, and I scratched it up. And I thought that made it look cooler. And, you know, it's, I, I, I don't know, all, it's, kind of think, a, it's kind of a piece of junk. I, I wouldn't recommend using these. I think we also etched our names into the back and put a lace sensor instead of the That's original true. Fender pickup. Oh. We etched our names into the back because... Well, now you guys are friends forever. Yeah. For we got a little, a little pin here from Steins Gate. Shout out. And what would be your dream equipment? Like, if you guys had to pick equipment, uh, you got a million dollars and they said, hey, you can only spend this... On guitar stuff, guitar stuff, bass stuff, whatever. What would be your guitar stuff? BC Rich in a crate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> much, much worse equi equipment than we're using now because this stuff is this stuff is so good that we literally can't get it to work. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So. <laughs> There's too much. I don't even. No, know. but do you guys have like a favorite guitar that you would love to play? Well, uh, I wouldn't get an Ashdown amp because apparently those don't work very well, as the house has provided us with. Oh, mm. wow. boo, boom! It's a small little gnome that gets sad, huh? Uh, you're one to talk. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I might be taller than him. Maybe. I don't know. Should we do back to back right now? Oh, we can do back to back. All yeah. the classics is for the, for the guitar stuff. I don't mm. know. What's if that? If I had a million dollars, all the classics I could I all the I classics. Could afford. Yeah. Okay. Fifty nine list Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Classics for a reason. <laughs> what about you? I just want the BC Rich. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, where can people find your record? They can find it at obliobandcom iTunes, Amazon, uh, Google Music, uh, Apple Music, Spotify. It's called Autophobia, and we are called Oblio, which sounds, it's spelled like it sounds, so it's easy to find us. Um, and that's O B L I A? O, o B L I O. <laughs> We've had so many shows is, where people is this what we're gonna do now? <laughs> call us Ublio and Oblia, and it's oh, we, it's All horrible. Right. Well, very cool, guys. Well, thanks for playing tonight. Thank Everybody you. Everybody give it up for Thank Oblio. Get the record. You guys rock. Thank you. Rock 